If you're somebody that values growth and personal development like most social workers do, then you're going to want to stay tuned for this video because I'm going to be breaking down six ways creating a product or service can actually improve your practice. Hi guys, I'm Eva Ford, social worker, mindset mentor, and coach. And on this channel, I talk about money and mindsets to help social workers live their richest lives. Now, if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload a new video. Now, there are several ways that you could enter into rich social worker status. There is savings and investing. Uh, you could win the lottery. You could marry into wealth. Uh, but barring all of that, the best way to reach rich social worker status is to create your own product and service. Now, in a previous video, I talked about how social worker Brene Brown had done this, um, and I mentioned too about Stem and Graham and Susie Orman. They've been able to do this successfully as well, and you can too. Now, in those examples, I talked about how specifically Brene had created several products and services of her own. She is an author and has books. She's created courses. Um, she does public speaking. She's got CDs. She's even got audio programs. And now she's even in a movie starring as herself. Talk about rich social worker baller status. That's amazing. Kudos to Brene. So here's the thing about creating a product or service, especially in living in this time that we're living now. We're living in the information age with amazing technology. And the products and services that you create for yourself can continue to sell and make money for you even while you sleep. See, there was a time where you had to be, you had to show up as the product or service and in order to get paid or in order for anyone to perceive you as having any value or experience your value, I should say. But now in this day and age, we actually have an opportunity to leverage the power of the internet, leverage the power of automation, and create products and services that sell on their own while we're sleeping, while we're traveling, while we're vacationing, and still allow us to earn more income and create that rich social work life for ourselves. So today we're gonna to talk about six things that you could do when you create your product and service to not only make you a better social worker, but so that you can enjoy your life that much more. Ready? Let's get into it. So point number one on how your life might change when you create a product or service is that you are able to reach more people. Now think about this. When you package your services, package as a, as a verb, when you package your, your products or services, and put them online. You make them accessible to people all over the world, crossing time zones, crossing languages, crossing countries, so that people can access you at any time at their convenience. And when they can access you and, and buy your product or service, that means residual income from you any day of the week, any season of the year, any month, and you're able to build up that revenue, build up that revenue stream for any time. It's an amazing time to be alive because you have the power to access the internet and the interwebs, I say, and um, to make more money even while you're sleeping. So that's one way that creating a product can transform your life. All right, another way that creating a product or service can transform your life is having more time for yourself. I don't know about you, but I really value my time. And time is that one commodity that none of us can get back. You may have people that you want to spend more time with or projects that you want to spend more time on, or just maybe you just need that time for yourself so that you could relax and not do anything. Whatever it is, when you create a product or a service and you package it, and when I say package it, I mean package it and put it online so that other people can access it at any time, you free up that time that you would otherwise be giving people that experience live 
and you get it back for yourself. Think about this. Um, in 2012, I wrote a book called How Not to Practice Social Work. And uh, here's the thing. Every, I put it up on Amazon and every month to this day, even though I wrote that book in 2012, to this day, I still get residuals from that book that I wrote one time. Yes, it took me time to write the book, but the thousands of people that have been able to read it by now, I didn't have to read the book to each one of them over and over and over. I wrote it once, I uploaded it once, and thousands of people get to access it and read it over and over and over. That makes me so proud and so excited, not just because people get to access it and I get to help more people, as I said in point one, but I now have time. I've gotten that out of my system. I've said what I needed to say, and now I can have that time to move on and do something else with my energy. And you can do the same thing. The third thing, that creating a product or a service will do for you is if it's been a while since you've connected with your inner creative, this will give you the opportunity to do just that. Now, I know that a lot of us are in substantive social work posts, and when you're in, when you're working for an organization or an agency, a lot of times, especially when you know your job well and you're good at your job, our jobs really can become all consuming and take up so much of our lives, which is fine. But on the other side of that, what ends up happening a lot of times is that we forget to pour into the things that really feed us, that feeds our spirit and that we enjoy to do. Um, so if you love to dance when you were younger, sometimes we let that fall by the wayside. Or if you had any artistic ability, maybe in painting or in writing or in cooking or any area of you that's creative, and I know for those of you that are saying, there's nothing about me that's creative, that is not true. All of us are creative in some way. But creating a product or a service allows you to get in touch with your inner creative and remember those things that you used to love to do. And that's so important because when you are able to tap back into that thing that you love to do, that thing that you're passionate about or, or just interested in, that actually makes you a happier person. It boosts your endorphins. You guys know the drill. It allows you to then show up as the best version of yourself when you do get back to work and when you are engaged in saving the world as a super social worker that you are. And that is an amazing thing. Now, the fourth thing that creating a product or service will do for you is it allows you to be a better professional and, a be, and to be a better version of yourself. Here's the thing. When you are forced to be pushed out of your comfort zone, you can either grow or you can shrivel up and die. Now, you're a social worker, so I know that your propensity is to grow. But here's the thing. Most of us don't grow unless we're forced to grow. But when you create a product or service, you're, you're kind of forced to grow, but in the most enjoyable way possible because you'll be doing something that, like I said before, you're connect, that is connected to your inner creative and you'll be upping your game professionally and personally. And isn't that what you want to do? Don't you want to show up as the best version of yourself? I know you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be following me. My tribe, they absolutely want to grow and they want to be the best versions of themselves. So creating that product or service for you is going to help you to do that. It's done that for me. And I'm still on this journey, still learning, still growing, still upping my game. And I would love the same thing for you. Guys, let me know in the comments if any of this is resonating for you. In what area of your life would you want to become more of a professional or tap more into your creativity? Uh, the more you share, the more we can support you on your journey, and I promise to respond to every comment. Now, the fifth way that creating a product or service can make you a better social worker is it will help you to fulfill your potential. What do I mean when I say fulfill your potential? Now, I personally believe that all of us are here for a purpose, maybe for many purposes, but there's something inside of us that's driving us. Just do this exercise with me. It's a little morbid, but imagine if tomorrow, if you knew that tomorrow was going to be the last day of your life, 
what would you have wanted to do or what would you do in these next 24 hours to make sure that you got, you squeezed as much of your potential out of yourself as possible? Most of us will say that we're going to pick up that thing that maybe we've forgotten that we loved or we're going to connect with people that we wanted to, to do that we haven't been doing for a while. But in any case, if you seriously do this exercise, you're going to be able to kind of get a window into that potential, potential that you have yet to create. So creating a product or service allows you to get closer and closer and closer to that. And here's the thing, guys, you will never know what potential you can reach unless you start to create that product or service because you don't know what's going to come out of your creating that product or service. Maybe somebody's going to reach out to you to do something even bigger. Maybe um, there's going to be a group of people that will use your resources um, to help them in their personal evolution. You don't know. So you'll never know that potential that could be reached unless you actually create that product or service. It's the mystery of the unknown, right? So if you stay in your comfort zone without challenging yourself to be the best version of yourself, then if you're like most people, you're going to be kicking yourself for not moving towards that part of you that really wants to fulfill its potential. I don't want you to be kicking yourself uh, and creating a product or service will make sure that you don't either. All right, now the last way that creating a product or service can actually enhance your life and make you a better social worker. It's kind of obvious, but it's worth saying this is Rich Social Worker channel and it's that it's going to allow you to make more money. Now, you would have heard me say this in other videos, um, but the more money you make, the more people we can serve and the wealthier we can live for ourselves. The, the last thing that I didn't say is when you make more money, you can ideally also take better care of yourself and better care of the people that you care about. There's no shame in making more money. Please get that out of your mind if it's something that you're still holding on to. Um, but if you are subscribed to this channel, don't worry. I will preach it until I die um, so that more social workers get this into their heads. So that we're not, we're no longer dependent on asking other people to value us and do um, and pay us what we're worth, but we now are taking control of our value and we're creating these products and services and we're earning whatever amount of money we say because we would have put that value into the world. We would have packaged it the right way. And if you haven't seen my video on packaging, um, creating your, your product or service, watch it. I'm going to put the link um, below and um, we can create our own social work economy. All right, guys. So thanks for being here. Like this video. If it's helped you in any way, if you have any ideas, if it's brought up any thoughts for you or, or uh, about creating your package or service, write it in the comments below. We want to hear. We want to hear um, what you're thinking about. We want to hear what you're working on. You might even be able to sell your products or services to someone else who's watching this video right now. So put it in the comments below. I promise to respond. Guys, make sure you're liking this video. Share it with a friend who needs to see it. Thanks so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye.